Today, I learned that women are less likely to receive and survive CPR than men. But why? This study broke it down. Out of 20 dummies, also known as mannequins created for CPR training, only one of the dummies had breasts, which is pretty ironic given the fact that the CPR doll was based off a woman, a death mask of an unknown French woman dubbed Rosessi Annie or Resuscitation Annie. This means that majority of people who learn CPR have zero experience practicing chest compressions on women. I've done CPR certification twice and only ever had flat chested mannequins to practice on. Anatomically, having breasts does not change the CPR technique, but it does change whether someone will perform CPR, and it's due to the bystander effect. It's an odd phenomenon which explains there are far more bystanders when a woman is experiencing cardiac arrest or anything else that would require active CPR because there's implicit bias and worry about touching their breasts. But this bias could easily be eliminated if there were CPR dummies that represented both sexes to increase comfortability of doing CPR on people with breasts. This falls under medical misogyny, which refers to a systemic bias or neglect towards women in medical research and training. Because it's not just CPR, it's also defibrillator pads. If medical professionals don't have experience testing defibrillator pads on a body with breasts, then it could lead to serious, even fatal consequences. And this bias extends to many industries outside of the medical space, like the car industry, where car companies only require tests on male representing dummies. The most commonly used car crash dummy is representative of a male from the 1970s. So women's height, weight, body characteristics, and muscle mass are not taken into account for car safety. As a result, women are 73% more likely to sustain serious injuries from a car crash than men. Coincidence? I think not. May is Women's Health Month, so we'll be highlighting stories like this all month long, ending with a very special and personal episode on our YouTube channel. So make sure to follow and subscribe to all our socials and our YouTube at Today Learn Science so you don't miss a single video.